All right, are we ready to move? We're gonna get the, um, just stand over both feet. I know I've said this before. Both, both feet nicely rooted into the floor. So you should feel, if you lean forward, you can feel your heel, heels lift. If you lean back a little bit, you can feel the toes peel up. You want both the heel and inside and outside of your feet pressing into the floor and your arches are lifting up and we're just going to open the elbows wide kind of like swinging sailor arms okay the thing is i lift my elbows and as my hands come forward they cross okay like you're about to give yourself a hug and then they cross the other way and this is how we started just built, lifting the elbows if you remember try to lift the elbows if not just swing the arms um keeping the arms bent at the elbow okay and that just gets the, the shoulders freed up nicely in that direction and three and switch and two and switch last one and arms quiet down keeping your elbows bent like you've got ski poles and you want to go take your elbows back and forward and back and it doesn't matter if the arms are not perfectly 90 degrees the idea is like if somebody had your had their hand on your upper arm and they were lifting your upper arm back behind you while you keep your collarbones nice and open so here we go back and forth back and forth back and forth it's almost an arm swing except with the elbows bent we are focusing on the upper arms and you want to track the elbow back so it doesn't open up as the arms go behind you so you're really squeezing between the shoulder blades and you'll notice that the shoulders lift up a little bit I'm not actually actively lifting the shoulders it's just the arm is going back and moving in the shoulder socket okay and then now we're gonna keep one arm up other arm goes back we are actually alternating and swing upper arm and you'll notice it, you will want to go into a rotation I want you to keep it square so the shoulders are square hips are square whoops we had a slow connection for a second and if you do want to go into rotation step your feet out one foot width and then rotate but do it with control so that it's not a total swing so we're controlling as we lift, controlling as we lower and switch. And it's a really nice twist through the waist, trying to keep the hips facing forward. And two more. Last one. And bring it back to square so that it's, so the arms are going nice and forward and back, keeping your torso facing forward. And down, good. And we are ready for the hundred because we have all this free space we can go different places so arms are lifting up and they come straight down by your side and behind you with arms straight wrists straight to pull the stomach in and up get tall through the crown of your head and lift and back and lift and back and lift and back and we turn this into a quicker pumping motion may let the hands come in front but push behind mostly so inhale two three four five and exhale two three four five keeping the elbows squeezing close together i want my arms to go straight back not out okay so i know the optics here it looks like i'm going side to side but i'm not actually i think i'm pushing behind i would only know if i had a bar with me or a towel Kitchen towel. I'm just going to grab a kitchen rag here. This will tell me if my arms are indeed going straight behind. Take a kitchen rag and push behind you and behind. And inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five, and in. You'll feel your triceps and two, three, four, five, and in. Three, four, five, and exhale. This thing is getting on my nerves. Exhale, two, three, four, five, and in. Oh, you see? Yeah, my hands do come out a little bit. All right. And then now we're going to do pushing up and lower and push up. So you're going to emphasize the up as you do the next set. Inhale, two, three, and you'll notice your belly turns on much quicker. And inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Like a staccato lift. And then 
down. So it's like if you emphasize on the inhale, the exhale happens automatically. So if you lift quickly, the lower happens by itself. And one more set, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and release. Good. And you can just swing the arms. Good to swing the arms, right? Get the shoulders freed up. And what we had next was, actually that was 100. Let's do single leg. I'm going to use my fridge as my wall. And um, I've blocked off the kitchen area so that I am standing in contrast because I often wear dark colors. So you, you have the hips up against the, your surface, your wall or your fridge. Your feet are about one and a half foot lengths in front of your wall. And you're going to bend one knee. You can round your spine, pull your stomach in, and hug your shin to your chest. Straighten yourself out when you put the foot down. As you pick up the other foot, I know everything wants to go off and twist and whatever. Just do your best to line yourself up vertically and hug your ch uh, <laughs> hug your ch uh, shin to your chest, oh, pulling the belly away, and don't fall over. <laughs> okay, so let's try and switch. So I notice that I'm kind of hiking over to the side which means I have to pull my abdominals and my obliques in a little bit more. Now let's do five more. Four. Place the foot down with purpose. And two. Last one. Obviously my single leg stretch is going to look different from my dad's. I asked my dad just to do this. You know, like if, if hugging the leg into your chest is not an option while you're standing, then, oops, I'm going to turn off something. Then, simply lifting the leg is a perfect option. Still challenges your vertical alignment. You'll notice you might want to tilt over to one side. And you want to keep lifting. All right, so slide down, and it's kind of a wall squat. You got your feet hugging together, legs hugging together. Hopefully my fridge is still standing. And you're going to round your belly over, keep pulling the abdominals back, hands into the shins, and curl. Nice big stretch. You're going to inhale, if you can, slide up so the legs are straight and the arms are straight. And out, and exhale. And inhale, and exhale. I'm going to pull my feet in a little closer, there. And inhale, and exhale. Three more, and exhale. Two more. Last one, and exhale. Oh, nice big stretch, all right. So for the single leg circle, believe it or not, we do have a version for that. So line yourself up vertically, lift that foot, and it comes across, around, and down. Lift, cross, around, and down. Cross, up, around, and down. <laughs> I, I'm cheating, I have the fridge handle to hang on to. You can also like, have your hands out here. Oops, I'm like, going to make this thing fall over. And exhale. Last one. I think that's five. And then we go the other way. Five. Four. Pull the belly in and up. Three. Two. Lengthen your spine. That was the last one. So it kind of turns into a little paisley, more than a straight circle. So come across. Other foot. Four. Lengthening the spine, three, two, last one, and we reverse out to the side, five, four, three, and like I said, it's like a paisley more than a circle, last one, I think that was it, or I'll do one more for good measure, I'm really having, after 2.30, I can't count, <laughs> okay, it's like the computer goes off. Next is, it's really helpful if you think about, like if you had a harness securing you to your wall, you're going to stack your forearms and you're going to round your spine forward, articulate peeling off of the fridge or your wall, and that harness is pulling you back. Obviously, that harness is an image for the abdominal muscles pulling back and keeping your pelvis to the wall. <laughs> And then you stack up and switch the arms. And exhale forward. 
and inhale up. The challenge here with this position is that the shoulders don't come up to the ears and then, then we actually haven't accomplished anything. Keep the shoulders down and go th with the abdominals pressing back. Spine is stretching like a tightly wound spring that is stretching forward. This part stays back and my spine is the part that's springy and stretchy all right, so where were we? Spine stretch. Right, my feet are joined together. Actual spine stretch would be with feet open. Is, at this point, when you're standing against the wall, you can do it with your feet together. So, belt is pulling me back. My spine is springy and stretchy. And then I come back and restack. I just keep doing this because this gives me extra connection in my body. Last one. Exhale forward and inhale back. Oh my gosh, this is turning into a full-fledged workout. So after that, I'm sure there were some other things too. What I really love working is sideline, or the sidekick series standing. So we do a lot of front and back, front and back. While we're here, might as well keep swinging. <laughs> and three, two, Last one, feet together and out to the side and back in. Now I just I just caught this hip going this way. So what I actually want to do is pull that up so it stays tall. Ooh, a lot more work on my waist. And yeah, still wanting to go, but I want this to pull up. And that's it. Okay? Let's do the other side for a second. So grab onto your wall or your chair, front and back and front and back. Four, three, two, one. If you're really good at counting, you'll notice my counting is often off. I work hard at it though. <laughs> three, two, last one. Okay. We've got a chair. This is where it's useful to think about if you had a belt on or if you do have your belt on. You want your belt always nice and flush like it would be shining forward in other words so when we go into the leg behind you don't want to let the belt point down to the floor it's actually still shining forward if, if you had a light attached to it all right so lifting up you want to actually pull the belt in closer to your spine and see if you could lift the belt you know there is a way to do it Okay, we do it all the time. So my leg is behind me. I'm gonna keep that all pulled in and bend my knee so the foot comes up to my seat and bend and squeeze, bend, squeeze. Keep that belt up. Don't let the belt fall forward. Two more and that's your last one. Stretch forward, you bend that supporting leg, lift your toes, stick your tailbone back and up. I don't like to dwell on stretches. <laughs> okay, so the other leg, back, your belt buckle is shining forward and you're lifting it, you're pressing it back and lifting it up. So your spine is elongated and also supported at the bottom. So with that foot back, I'm going to lift the foot, squeeze the hamstring and lengthen, knee stays behind my body. So squeeze and three lengthen two lengthen last one and lengthen switch feet you're going to bend the back leg pick up the toes of the front leg and then press your tailbone back and get that nice big stretch at the back of the hamstrings drop the tailbone and roll on up and we're done that turned into a mini oh there's more but I'm kind of done. <laughs> Hope you're having a great Monday. And uh, it might be March break. It might not be. Some places canceled. 